Hi, Taurus. You need to know this right now for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For November the 3rd through November the 4th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is We Are Reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Clarify the Three of Cups. For Taurus, clarify the Three of Cups. For Taurus, clarify the three of cups. For Taurus, it is clarified with the ace of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Taurus, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate because there's a blessing coming in, money, assets, resources, property. You can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate because you guys are starting a new era in love, maybe going into a commitment. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting and starting new or someone here has a third party, new love. Taurus, you have the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games or manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Taurus, listen, could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also, a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Taurus. Clarified temperance for Taurus. Clarified temperance for Taurus. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces, 
But you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. Or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, listen. You can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide. Should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now, Taurus, listen. You can tell me that you're using your intuition, weighing things up, trying to decide. Should you, shouldn't you heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile with this person? Yes. Taurus, you can tell me that you're mad. You're pissed off because a secret came out about juggling here. And maybe you're needing to heal individually on your own. Are you finding out they have new love? Taurus, you guys could have had this tip for tat tug of war toe to toe going on because you couldn't come to some type of compromise and negotiations here. And it could be concerning some type of blessing. Taurus, you have the moon again. So like I said, it could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Now Taurus, listen, you know, you can tell me that there's an element of the unknown dealing with this abundance here. Because ultimately, you end up having just cause to celebrate because you very well could be getting this blessing. But in the process, it could be an element of the unknown and some type of back and forth and mind games and manipulation and compromise or something. However, Taurus, you can tell me some type of secret came out here. And this is the reason why you're single. You can tell me that you're also using your intuition and debating on whether or not you want to remain single or not. Taurus, you have the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there is some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. So Taurus, listen, yes, you can tell me that you're indecisive and you're needing to make a decision here, a choice here, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Or Taurus, you're telling me that you're blocking this person out because there was lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. Juggling here. Did they have new love? Ace of Cups again. New love, new start to love, or a blessing here? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Hmm. Taurus, yes, you can tell me that there was a situation going on with some type of financial lack, but there's a blessing coming in here, Taurus. You might not even see this coming. Like I said, it's an element of the unknown here. But Taurus, I feel like this is about relationship. Very well could be a breakup taking place here because we're finding out that someone has new love. Some type of secret is coming out here. And because of it, you're wanting to block this person out. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. And so it says, insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. More and more and more and more. What else? But Taurus. What else? But Taurus. Taurus, you could also be looking at your options and dealing with someone else. So this reading could be vice versa. Cleansing, meditating. I meant that really cleansing meditation clearing space and removing negativity meditation i meant cleansing meditation clearing space and removing negativity if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com taurus you need to know this right now for november the 3rd through november the 4th 2023 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace